Hello everyone. Welcome to Celebration Sunday. I'm Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamping Corner. Um, I'm really excited about today's project. We are going to talk about some DSP today. We're talking about the Favored Flowers DSP. This is a project we're going to make today and I'm going to show you um, some really fun details about that DSP that I think you're really going to like. Uh, before we get started, let's go over everything that I have in front of me. I also do want to mention that um, I'm going to really try not to cough. I have I have tea and I have cough drops by me, so I'm hoping that I don't cough through this. My um, my daughter shared her cold with me. Thank you, daughter. So um, she got over it in two days, but this is going to last like a week for me. I can already tell. So, you know, joys of getting older, right? We can't kick things as quickly as we used to. But um, we're going to hopefully get through this without any any issues. All right, paper pumpkin. Uh, my paper pumpkin actually arrived on Friday. I wasn't feeling well enough to go live on Friday. I am hoping that maybe this afternoon I will do another Facebook Live for paper pumpkin. So, so tune in. I, it will probably pretty be pretty impromptu. I will probably only be able to give like a a twenty or thirty minute notice if I do go live. There's a lot of things going on around here, and um, a lot of it will also depend on how I'm feeling a little later. So, so we'll see. Hopefully, I can get that done because I really want to work on my paper pumpkin this weekend and get those alternate projects out to those who subscribe under me. If you do subscribe with me, I send a PDF every month to my subscribers with alternate projects. So hopefully we'll get to January's paper pumpkin today. But if you want February's paper pumpkin, it is going to be adorable. It's going to coordinate with the rain and shine suite in the mini catalog. And um, that's one of my favorite suites in the mini catalog. I'd love it. And this month only for the first time, there are a dyes add-on. So if you want to add on some dyes, to your paper pumpkin it'll cut out this little frog these little flowers it is only six dollars you get two dies it's going to be phenomenal so if you want february's paper pumpkin if you want the add-on you do have to be subscribed to purchase that add-on um and you can get that in my online store and there are links to to subscribe in my video description all right guys tomorrow on my blog tomorrow tuesday and wednesday on my blog i have a fun series of projects it's something I've never done before but um, I thought I'd give it a try so this is gonna be a stamp a stack I am offering the class kit for $25 every day there will be a different card featured on my blog all of these feature the silly goose stamp set so you can um, check out that series on my blog starting tomorrow uh, the class kit will be available for $25 and all the details about what's included in that class kit and everything are are going to be on my blog tomorrow and if you want the class kit these are actually ready to ship so as soon as I get payment from you um, these actually will just go out they're ready to go I don't have to wait for supplies to come in they're all ready so um, there's a limited supply though so if, but if you do want these um, make sure to check out my blog post tomorrow for all the de details on the silly goose stamp a stack um, just a fun new series that I'm trying there won't be any PDF or class time for it if you get the the class kit the instructions for all of the cards are going to be the videos that are going to post over the next three days. So you can watch the videos over the next three days as they post and then um, when you get your class kit in the mail you can go back and watch them if you need to. Alright guys let's talk celebration. That's why we're here today right? Celebration Sunday. Celebration is the best time of the year. For every $50 you purchase you can choose a a item in here for free. There are a couple of hundred dollar options in here. I'm trying to find the paper that we're going to use today. Here it is. This is the paper we're using today, the Favored Flowers DSP. This was not one of my first items. These colors are not are not colors that I typically use. But when I got this DSP and I opened it, I was kind of blown away. These this is a gorgeous, gorgeous DSP. DSP is never really represented it represented well in catalog. So Please don't discount DSP. It's amazing. So I'm going to show you more about this in just a minute, but also during celebration. It is a fantastic time to join. Maybe your wish list is really long. Maybe you want to get some of those higher priced items like a big die cutting machine or a stamparatus. This is the best way to do that because you're going to get way more money for your, your way more bang for your buck. Um, there's three options to join during celebration. Options one and two, you get to choose a mini cut and emboss machine. You can either choose the, the new boho blue one, which is gorgeous. This is going to be a new in color coming in the next annual catalog. Or you can choose the white one if blue is not for you. That's okay. Um, the third option to join, well, hold options one and two are $129. That's what you pay. And you choose $175 in free, or in free product, plus you get 
the free mini cut emboss machine. Now option number three, if you already have a mini cut emboss machine or maybe you don't need one, um, it's $99 and you still choose 175 in product. So it's basically like getting everything for almost half off. It's pretty amazing. It's a great, great deal. If you have a long wish list, you want to join Stampin' Up! You love Stampin' Up! products. You want to see Stampin' Up! products early. You want to order Stampin' Up! products early. This is a great, 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 great time to join. Um, you can contact me for more details. I'm always looking to add more people to my team. And um, I hope you can... Uh, let me think about it. If you if you want to join, you have till February 28th to take advantage of that deal. Although the starter kit offer is great all year long. Okay, Celebration Sunday, that's what we're here for. This is the, the project we're making today. Now before we get into the project, let's talk a little bit more about this DSP. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Um, this DSP actually coordinates with this fragrant flowers in our in our mini catalog. This is the, the new um, mini catalog. This coordinates with it. So um, we're gonna you're gonna see this flower more in the DSP, but there are dyes for these. You can get this bundle. There are dyes for these. So if you love these flowers on here, you might want to consider the bundle because you'll be able to stamp whatever you need. You can color them however you want, whatever. Um, the greetings are really fun. There's some really cool accent dyes in here. Um, so think about this. If you love the, the DSP, you might want to consider getting this um, fragrant flowers bundle in the mini catalog. Now those dyes, let me show you the papers. Let me see if I can find them here. I don't have full sheets of all of them. I have full sheets of four of them, but not all of them. Um, this is one side. Let me get those other two pieces. <laughs> these were the biggest pieces I could find for these other prints. Um, this is the patterns we're going to use today, some of these. And the dies from that bundle, I don't have the bundle, but the dies will cut out the, the flowers on this one. And I don't, I think they might, they might cut out these little flowers from here as well but um so if you just if you need a quick card you can grab the dies and you can um cut them directly from the paper from that fragrant flowers bundle so let's flip this over so you can see the other side the other side is less busy these are more um kind of basic prints that you can use year round this one is great just for anything it's a nice greenery this one i think actually kind of looks maybe christmas you can even carry that into christmas but um really really great dsp don't discount the dsp it's very very beautiful Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side and move this off to the side and we are going to get started. Let me grab a drink real quick, hold on. Okay, we're gonna hopefully get through this without incident. Okay, this is the card we're making today. It is a fun fold. So the basis is um, just a quarter sheet of cardstock and then the actual card is actually made of DSP. So you're gonna open it this way and it's going to fold down this way. And we have lots of beautiful DSP accents on the inside. So I love this. I love this paper. It's so pretty. So this is what we're going to start with. Now, if you had the dies, you could die cut these two directly from the DSP. Um, I don't have the dies. So we're actually going to start with just some quick fussy cutting. It doesn't take too long to fussy cut them. I did contemplate doing this ahead of time, but it doesn't, it doesn't really take too long. It would probably um take me just as long to get out my die cutting machine and um line up all the dies and get them all cut out so it's really up to you if you love this dsp but you don't love fussy cutting you might want to consider getting the bundle or at least the dies that go with it but once your paper is gone if you have that stamp set then you can continue to stamp these flowers that is the beauty of the bundle um, now the dsp has these little tiny little buds on these now I'm gonna cut those off I am NOT going to fussy cut around those I do believe that the dies will fussy cut those if I'm correct the dies will fussy cut those but um, maybe not I honestly I don't have the bundle so I hate to tell you guys something that I don't know for sure um, but I'm just gonna fussy cut those off they're a little small and they're a little bit tedious to kind of cut around so I'm not gonna worry too much about them I'm just gonna cut them right off I go around now when you're fussy cutting move your um, paper with your non-dominant hand and hold your scissors with your dominant hand and that will give you better results if you're guiding the paper directing the paper with your non-dominant hand and then just using your your scissors for um, opening and closing the scissors that um, that gives you a much cleaner fussy cut and that's it that didn't take long at all so let me get rid of these scraps and so we have our pieces already fussy cut. Now I did fussy cut a third flower. I did do that one in advance. This one's going to go on the inside. So you do need, you need three flowers 
fussy cut in advance. And this one we're doing opposite ones. We have the Coastal Cabana ones here. This time I'm using the Fresh Freezer ones in the larger one and then the Coastal Cabana smaller one. So it really gives you the opportunity to really mix it up as much as you want. All right, let's do our, our DSP piece. Let's do our card base parts. Um, I'm gonna grab my Simply Scored. You can use your paper trimmer if you want. Oh, I did forget to mention, if you are shopping, that is this month's host code. Make sure to shop my online store with that host code if your order is under 150. All orders receive a PDF with three exclusive projects. If your order is $50 or more, you will receive a make and take kit that coordinates with that PDF so you can make those projects. All right, so the card piece, the actual um, card that opens and closes, this is four by 12. So you're gonna get three of these per DSP sheet. And because each of those patterns has like a busy flower pattern and then a more neutral kind of basic geometric pattern, you can use any of those sheets of DSP for this. So it doesn't really, it doesn't matter too much which one you choose. But four by 12, and we're only gonna score on the long side, we're gonna score at three quarters and four and a half and nine and three quarters and all of these measurements are in the video description and they'll be on my blog later so don't worry about writing them down let me put this away before we go any further and grab your bone folder and we're just going to give those a quick fold just like that now this three quarter inch line we are actually going to fold backwards just like that fold it this way so you can see it better doesn't blend in with that background. So this is how you're gonna fold it. So it's gonna, this part's gonna fold down, this part's gonna fold down, and then you have that little three quarter inch line. It's gonna fold up, so pretty. Okay, we're actually gonna start gluing this all down. I'm gonna put some glue behind this three quarter inch flap. I haven't stamped for, <laughs> for a few days, so I'm a little rusty. Um, there we go. So we, that flap is just going to stay down. You can also use dimensionals if you want to give it a little bit more kind of oomph to it. Um, all right, other pieces. We are going to adhere this down to a piece of evening evergreen that is five and a half by four and a quarter. We're going to adhere this whole thing down. And this will be our whole card base. And this will fit in a standard size envelope. And you'll be ready to go. Isn't that cute? Now, this is a little busy. Obviously, you can't write a message on this there's a lot going on so i'm going to add a piece of white to the inside i have another piece of the dsp this one features like a blackberry bliss just geometric pattern i didn't want anything too busy we're going to stick that on the bottom of our white pieces white pieces five by three and three quarters if you wanted to do any stamping if you want to do a greeting on the inside you can do that before you would hear it down i'm keeping mine pretty basic and I'm just gonna set that inside. Now you have a place to write a quick greeting. And we're gonna stick one of these down too, one of our little clips of coral flowers. And I'm gonna use some liquid glue just to, so I can kind of maneuver it where I want it to go. And it'll stick nice and nice and strong. All right, cute, right? All right, let's work on our stamping before we go any further. Well, we can do this. So I have, I've die cut a scalloped rectangle from the, scallop contours dies and we're going to add our flowers to this i'm going to grab some dimensionals and i'm not going to put any on the leaves because the leaves are going to kind of hang off the, the edge so i don't want to put too many on the leaves pull all of these backings off throw them away and let's put these stick these down I'm just going to kind of center it top and bottom on that rectangle and then I'm going to come in with this one and just kind of pop that up just like that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, set that aside. Move our dimensionals off to the side and we're going to work on our greeting. Our greeting is actually heat embossed and our greeting is from, where did that stamp set go? Hold on, hold please. Here it is. The Framed Florets Dice, or Frames Florets stamp set. This is in the mini catalog as well. You can find this one um, in the mini catalog. You may already have that one. It was available early either in November or December. It was part of the Framed Florets collection that was available early. So I have my a piece of Blackberry Bliss and I'm going to use, I didn't get this out, I should have got this out. I'm going to use my embossing buddy to, to just get rid of all the static on there. I'm just going to kind of wipe it across. That gets rid of all of that static on the, on the cardstock. So you're going to get a clean um, embossed look it's only going to stick where 
where you want it to stick. I'm just going to stamp this in the middle. This is just a scrap. Um, we're going to end up trimming it just to the height of the word, so I'm not too worried about it being exact. I'm going to close my Versamark because more than once I have gotten embossing powder all over my Versamark, even if I'm being very careful. So I always like to close it. All right. Sprinkle on your embossing powder. I'm using white. You can get this in our basics embossing powder collection. And we're going to heat emboss this. I didn't do this part in advance either. Normally I do my heat embossing in advance, but but I didn't. You guys are going to you're going to be here for it all. All right, in that embossing toolkit that you can get the the embossing buddy in, I am going to use my little reverse tweezers here. I'm going to hold it. Okay, this is going to get loud for just a second. I like to heat up my heat tool off to the side just until it gets nice and hot. That's going to prevent a lot of the warping on your paper. So once your heat tool is nice and hot, you can bring it over and the embossing powder will emboss much quicker. There it goes. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can see that start to go. All right, perfect. So it went from like a powder to a glossy white. So I hope I hope you guys saw that. I hope you can see the difference in that. Um, those tweezers just kind of protect your fingers, just so you don't get don't get burned. All right, I'm just going to use my my little guillotine cutter. You can use any kind of paper trimmer you have, and I'm just going to trim this to the height of the words. I'm going to trim just a tiny bit off of this one because I got a little close on the top. I want to make sure that it's nice and even. Okay, there we go. Our stamped greeting. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to flag the ends here. Just one on each side, meet in the middle. If you have a punch that will do this, you can use your punch. And one more on this side. There we go. Perfect. Love that. It's ready to go. So we're going to stick this onto our tag. It's going to overlap this flower a little bit, so um, I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back of the kind of the middle right here. Use a mini dimensional if a big one won't fit, and then I'll just use a little bit of use liquid glue or snail seal, whatever stamp and seal is what we have now. Oh, hey, you guys, black dimensionals would have been great for this too. I should have grabbed my black dimensionals because this is a darker project. All right, isn't that pretty? So uh, pretty. All right, we're going to set this aside to dry just for a second, and we're going to add some ribbon to this card. I'm using the gold shimmer ribbon. This is in our annual catalog. This is some of my favorite, favorite ribbon. I really hope this doesn't retire. I love this ribbon. Um, I'm going to tie a bow so it's off on the, on the left. We're going to see how well I can do this on camera. The This ribbon is not real thick. It's not real bulky, so you probably could get away with mailing this. You might need a tiny bit of extra postage, but whenever I'm adding a big bow on a card, I always I always try to think of that. Is this going to cost extra postage? Do I need to hand deliver this card? So just keep that in mind. Sometimes bows will will require extra postage depending on how, how thick the, the ribbon is, how big the bow is. Okay, so that's not too bad. We got that, that bow. We can finagle it a little bit. A little bit. There we go. I think that's good. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. Fantastic. So you're going to have that ribbon on the inside. I have embossing powder all <laughs> over my desk. It's all in the back of this. Okay. It's fine. It'll wipe off. All right. Final step. We have two more things to do. We're going to stick this on. Now, I'm going to stick this on with dimensionals, but you don't want to put dimensionals past the bottom, like, quarter of this card, of this piece, because then you're going to glue your card shut. You only want the dimensionals to be on that top flap. So um, I'm just going to use some edge pieces here. I'm going to use one here, and I'm going to use one kind of just in the middle, and that'll be enough. Let me get that pulled off. My goodness, the dimensionals don't want to play nice. So don't put anything on the bottom, because then you'll glue your card shut. Ask me how I know that. Done that before. Glue card shuts. All right, isn't that pretty? Now this is gorgeous, just as it is. Isn't that pretty? It's a simple card, and it's all DSP. The only stamping is the greeting, but it's still so so stunning. Now a final embellishment. I pulled out these pastel adhesive back sequins. These are in the mini catalog as well, and you get a whole sheet of big ones and a whole sheet of little ones. You have like blues, pinks, and golds. Love. 
I'm gonna grab my take or pick tool and we're gonna do let's see I'm gonna close this up I'm gonna do a big one here I'm gonna do a little one down here and then I think one more big one at the top okay what happened to my little one oh it just it didn't stick hold on I, it's on my finger oh my goodness I told you guys this was gonna be a rough Facebook live we're gonna stick this one down just like that okay you stay there and that finishes the card guys that's it it's cute it's so pretty this would be a great beautiful card to send to anybody just to let them know you're thinking of them um, it's a great great card so remember you can get this DSP for free in your um, celebration qualifying celebration order if you are shopping please make sure to head to my online store use this house code all orders receive a PDF with three exclusive projects orders over 50 also receive the make and take kit if your order is over 150 don't use the host code you're going to earn stamp and rewards if you do have a long wish list though you might want to consider that starter kit it's the best deal in the catalog right now uh, if you're on Facebook please share this with your crafty friends if you're on YouTube please like and subscribe to my channel if I do go live later this afternoon with my paper pumpkin I will make sure to let you guys know it'll probably be a short notice but um, you can always watch, catch the replay later. All right, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you guys stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.